It starts with the motive. In this case, the need to know where we are and where we are going. And so we come to mankind's masterpiece, the world map. Compiled with data from extraordinary measures, it contains some of the most important information we need. But it had to have started somewhere. How could we possibly have come to this creation, this map of glory, a signature of our global home? To find our answer, we need to dig deep into our past, deeper than we would think necessary. For thousands of years, humans drew what they could see. Ancient Eastern and Indian traditions used the stars to map as part of Vedic culture. As we move through the timeline, we encounter Egyptians, Babylonians, Greeks, Romans, Arabian trade routes, and ideas of the flat earth. Soon we come to the world being mapped as a whole, the round earth coming into perception. Jumping forward, computers accelerate the understanding of our surroundings. With the launch of the Soviet Union's Sputnik, the world's first satellite, on October 4th, 1957, a new idea came into position. You could see that the trend and the growth was using computers to do uh, your job. And at that point in time, remote sensing and the launching of satellites was kind of the main um, area that we used uh, computers for. The year 1962 marked the beginning of a legacy, one that would impact the entire world. One man, Roger Tomlinson, made the change from simple to complex. CGIS, or Canada Geographic Information System, was the first official GIS to be born. Tomlinson, the father of GIS, developed the first real digitization of geographic data using computer software got me hooked. I was doing interactive GIS mapping development back in 69 and 70 and 71. So I've been in it ever since. Uh, I'd say the big thing is just meeting all the people over the years. The most amazing part of the industry is, is the people. Um, so many dedicated people, so many people believe in what you can do with geospatial technology. Basically, the way computer-based GIS programs work are like this. You have multiple geospatial layers in which each of these holds specific data, which can be many different things. Each layer is piled on top of one another, creating a map that contains information in relation to location. To start with, we can take a look at a couple everyday programs that people use. Internet applications such as Google and Bing Maps. This technology utilizes satellite and digital feed to map out roads and places on a global world map, allowing us to search directions and look at the Earth. GPS, or Global Positioning System, gives on-the-spot directions in a similar way. Applications such as these can allow us to get to where we need to be fast and with less hassle. An even more remarkable software called Google Earth provides a spectacular view of our world in a 3D perception. This phenomenal program impacts the methods we use to see our world in many ways, mainly because now you can see anywhere and anything on the world from your own personal computer. With a variety of useful and educational information stored, a global society has been born from this innovation. All the questions about the real world can be answered through your model, and that's pretty important. I, I think people use people basically a lot of things you want to need to know that you can't uh, wait until you need to know to find out. Like, like for example, pilots practice in flight simulators; they practice crashing basically, so, and almost crashing, and, and not crashing. And so then, when something goes bad in the airplane, they know what to do. It's too late to practice then. You only get one shot at it then. So, so I think things that are a, a really accurate model of the real world are really valuable. And GIS is. An obvious natural model of that, it's a 3D representation of the planet, it's pretty, pretty useful. Though these softwares are open to the public, other programs such as ArcView, GRASS, SEGA, and Quantum GIS are used by companies and the government for more accurate mapping, analysis, and data storage. Many government departments operate with GIS and depend on it for their use and function. For example, 
The Department for Health and Human Services and Center for Disease Control use GIS softwares for archiving and tracking disease outbreaks in order to have a well-maintained and pandemic-preventing operation on fighting for our health. The number of people's lives saved is proliferating by doing this. To help executives make better decisions, primarily we work with uh, state agency directors as well as uh, the governor's office, state legislature, and others. So just to make more informed decisions, uh, we'll take spreadsheets and convert them into mapping information. Local law enforcement agencies and officials team with the marvelous technology of GIS in order to provide a meaningful and well-planned safety procedure by being able to store and document information such as crime rates and other things on a well-maneuverable map. 911 operators and emergency response crews depend upon GIS for quick locational information in the event of a crisis. These softwares have assisted them in the rescuing of so many people. Businesses also take advantage of the many beneficial outcomes of geographic information systems. For example, many financial workers must know how the market affects different areas and communities. Insurance companies must know where risk lies most, and retail and real estate companies rely heavily on maps for various things such as customer addresses, consumer location, and etc. GIS impacts all of these in a way that it provides an extremely efficient way to get all the work done, therefore allowing procedures to be orderly and perfect. Natural resources and utility management are also fields that depend greatly upon the tumultuous advantages that geographic information systems have to offer. Oil and natural gas companies, as well as electricity and water providing companies, utilize maps provided by GIS programs and acquire and store important files and information related to the location of gas, oil, and other resources. Oil being a globally prominent commodity, GIS has again proved its impact all over the world, its economies, and its safety. Military operations have changed greatly over the past decades. Due to the innovation of GIS, countries now can provide more sophisticated terrain analysis and missions can be thought out and planned more precisely. Because the Army is all about getting around fast, geographic accuracy is of utmost necessity. Geographic information systems are also major impactors for the world of science. With documentation of specific experiments or discoveries can come more precise predictions and analysis, all in one easy-to-use map. For example, recently Google Earth aided a scientist in discovering a historically significant hominid fossil in South Africa. There's a, there's a species of ant named after Google because scientists use Google to identify all the ant species all around the world and Google Earth was so helpful they named an ant after us. With discoveries like these able to be made and interpreted by many, GIS has extended our boundaries for knowledge and science. Education is another medium in which the world may see change and an increase in healthy curiosity, especially in our youth. GIS, a technology so brilliant, it impacted and changed our lives through daily convenience, business proficiency, and governmental accuracy. Because of it, we can get directions to anywhere in the world. Because of it, we can permit our economies to flourish and thrive. Because of it, we can live worry-free with protected borders and streets. Because of it, we have new insight into the future of the human race, being able to explore the vast wonders of outer space. The most captivating cartography of the 21st century. It's time we start realizing its importance. With satellite feed and computer efficiency, it has changed every field of science. It has opened our minds, and with that, a door to the future. The most ultimate innovation yet, GIS, we live it every day.